Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is a core topic from immunology that is the difference between T cells and B cells in detail. Starting with why the name. As we all know, the site of lymphocyte synthesis is the bone marrow, the stem cells in the bone marrow. In the case of T cells, pre T cells are formed from the stem cells of the bone marrow, then it enters circulation, then reaches the thymus where it matures. T cells are so called because it is thymus derived or maturation takes place in thymus. In the case of B cells, both initial B cells and also mature B cells, origin and maturation takes place in bone marrow, therefore called as B cells. In the case of birds, it is bursa or fabricus, a specialized organ. Both these T cells and B cells enter circulation and reaches secondary lymphoid organs like lymph, lymph nodes after maturation. Difference number two regarding occurrence and lifespan. This is the lymph node. Majority of T cells occur in the deeper paracortical region of the lymph nodes. T cells are the dominant lymphocytes accounting 75 to 80 percent of total lymphocytes in blood. Lifespan is several weeks to months. Whereas in the case of B cells, B cells are often seen in the outer cortical region of lymph nodes as follicles. B cells accounts 15 to 20 percent of total lymphocytes and lifespan is comparatively short several days to weeks. Difference number three regarding the mode of action. T cells are involved in mediating cell mediated immunity or cellular immunity. As we all know helper cells can activate cytotoxic T cells upon binding with MHC bound antigen. And on activation of cytotoxic T cells, this effector T cells or cytotoxic T cells can directly cause lysis of infected cell. So T cells are primarily involved in removing intracellular pathogens or infected cells. So this is what is actually happening. Effector T cells cause lysis of infected cells and it primarily defends against intracellular pathogens or infected cells. Whereas in the case of B cells, upon antigen recognition, this B cells binds to a particular antigen and that degrades the antigen and present it to helper T cells on MHC, where these helper T cells activates these B cells for clonal selection and this particular B cell with this specificity divides and form in great numbers. Later it differentiates to form two types of cells. One is the plasma cells that is involved in formation of antibodies and the second is the memory cells that is involved in immunologic memory. So these antibodies will neutralize the pathogen. So B cells are involved in humoral immunity or antibody mediated immunity. So antigenic stimulation causes B cells to differentiate into plasma cells and memory cells. Plasma cells secrete antibodies and it primarily defends against extracellular pathogens. Difference number four regarding receptors and antigen recognition. In the case of T cell, it is having a receptor which is called as T cell receptor or TCR. It is having a single antigen binding site. It only binds to peptide antigens that is presented on MHCs. Whereas in the case of B cell, which is, which is having a receptor which is called as B cell receptor, it is composed of a surface immunoglobulin that is having two recognition sites, two antigen binding sites, and there is a transmembrane protein that is made up of heterodimer units of Ig immunoglobulin beta and alpha that is involved in further signal transduction to the inside of the cell. So in short TCR is having a single antigen binding site and PCR is having two antigen binding site. Difference number five regarding the types of cells. There are different types of T cells with different functions. The first one is the effector T cells which is also called the cytotoxic T cells, killer T cells etc. that is involved in mediating cell mediated immunity that can directly interact with infected cells and destroy that infected cells. Virus infected cells are tumor cells. 
This is actually mediated by helper T cells. Helper T cells can be considered as a commander of the immune system, regulating all the activities and also activating all other types of cells like B cells, cytotoxic T cells, macrophages, etc. And a third type of cell is a memory T cell that remains in the bloodstream for a long time that protects against future infection or provide the phenomenon called immunologic memory. And the fourth one is the suppressor T cell which protects the healthy cells from the attack of these cytotoxic T cells or killer T cells. Hyperactivity of killer T cells is regulated by these suppressor T cells. These are the major T cells present. Whereas in the case of B cells, B cells are differentiation forming plasma cells that is involved in the production of antibodies and these antibodies will neutralize the pathogen. There are two types of plasma cells. One is short-lived and that often secrete IgM antibody and the other is long-lived that is in the bone marrow that secretes antibodies like IgG, AE, etc. Then the second type of cell is a memory B cell that is responsible for immunologic memory. When the pathogen comes for the second time, the defense mechanism will recognize it quickly and and cause a sudden attack to eliminate that pathogen. And these cells are often long-lived. Hope you got the point you are with biologyexamsforyou.com. Thank you so much for your support.